It's the kind of record you don't want to see. The Transportation Security Administration says it found a high number of firearms last year from passengers at U.S. airports. Here in San Antonio, the TSA found more people with guns last year than it did in 2021. RJ Marquez spoke with TSA officials about this increase and what gun owners need to do before they hop on a plane. Thousands of travelers make their way through San Antonio International Airport every day, and there's a growing number of people taking firearms on their carry-on luggage. Is at no point, at no time, is a gun or any gun component allowed in your carry-on in what we see here. So no guns, no bullets, no silencers. The TSA reports South Texas airports from San Antonio to the Rio Grande Valley discovered a record number of firearms last year, 145 compared to 89 in 2021. And many of these weapons are often loaded. And there's multiple reasons likely. One is that Texas has more liberal gun laws. So people, when they leave their home, they grab their keys, they grab their wallet, they grab their gun. TSA officers intercepted 108 firearms right here at San Antonio International Airport last year during the screening process. That's a record for our airports and an increase from 65 in 2021. TSA says people can travel with a firearm in check luggage, but there are steps they have to take beforehand. Make sure that your gun is unloaded, no bullets that it's packed in a hard sided container and that it's locked with a padlock and that you declare your gun with the airline. There's actually a form that they have to sign. That form goes with the firearm. And for people who don't follow these rules, the penalties can be costly. And they're subject to fines of up to $15,000. And the police is called in every case when an undeclared gun is found, whether it's in your carry-on luggage or your check luggage. RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.